Hello and welcome to DrillingContractor.org. I'm Ava Vig reporting from the IADC HSE&T conference in Houston. I'm here with Kathleen Skama, president of Western Energy Alliance, who's going to tell us how the industry has changed under the Trump administration and what the future holds. Kathleen, thank you so much for joining us today. My pleasure. Can you give us a big picture summary on how the political climate has shifted under the Trump administration? First and foremost, we have an administration that is not trying to make it more difficult for oil and natural gas to operate. Not only do we have an administration that is not trying to get in our way, but they're actively promoting an energy dominance agenda. And this administration also has a very good understanding of how regulation was really tamping down on the industry, not just our industry, but many industries, and how that clearing out some of the regulatory redundancy can help create jobs and economic opportunity. We've seen that shift from where we had to play defense to one in which we can go on the offense a bit and actually pursue policies that will benefit oil and gas production in the United States. And now we're not talking about getting rid of bedrock environmental regulations. We happily comply with bedrock fundamental laws like the Clean Air Act, the Safe Drinking Water Act, the Clean Water Act, the Endangered Species Act. But what we are trying to clear out is some of the regulatory redundancy that was put in place the last several years. So this administration is actively trying to clear out some of that regulatory underbrush, which will enable um, the United States to produce more oil and natural gas here at home. And what are the major legal and regulatory hurdles that remain? Well, we're still, like I said, clearing out some of that underbrush. So we have some methane rules from EPA and from the Bureau of Land Management that Western Energy Alliance is actively trying to overturn. Um, and I would emphasize that even though we are trying to overturn that regulatory red tape, that doesn't mean that this industry will not continue the long-term trend since 1990 of reducing methane emissions. Not just methane emissions, but other um, emissions of air pollutants. So we constantly innovate, we constantly improve, we're constantly doing things better so that we protect the environment. But we can do that without re red tape burden that really doesn't deliver environmental benefit but um, just really gets in the way of productivity and efficiency. So what are some long-term reform efforts that Western Energy Alliance is working with with groups like IADC? Well, we're trying to make sure that we're not in this constant back and forth from one administration to the next. So we had an unfavorable administration that used its pen to put in place lots of regulations, and now we have another administration that has a different viewpoint, and it's using its pen to get rid of some of those uh, regulatory redundancies. However, what we really want is long-term change in the agencies and some legislation passed by Congress so that the next administration doesn't just come in and undo things uh, that we gained these four or eight years, however long the Trump administration is. So we're working really hard on getting some legislation passed that will um, codify a stable regulatory environment. Right now, we're also engaged in several rulemaking processes, but we're hoping that those don't just get overturned by the next administration. Well, Kathleen Sink, thank you so much for joining us today. My pleasure. Thanks for having me today. And thank you, viewers, for joining us on drillingcontractor.org.